Hey you guys and welcome back to the Man Cave, the channel you've never heard of. Welcome back to another episode of Nothing. So today's episode is about Hyperspin and what Hyperspin is you guys is basically just a front end application that helps manage all the emulators you may be running on your PC at that time. So for example, here we have a Nintendo screen, here we have a Super Nintendo screen, Nintendo 64, you get the idea you guys. So this application is normally used for PCs that are going to be converted into an arcade box. Uh, based in arcade cabinet, whatever you want to call it, and they use this to access all their games and stuff that they have. And but I thought that I would go ahead and use this as like for personal, you know, usage, I suppose. So there's nothing more uh, ghetto, I suppose, than just going and clicking an individual emulator on your computer. It looks kind of crappy. It doesn't look really cool. And this is really, really organized and really well made. The only thing is that you have to do all the maintenance and everything yourself. And what I mean by that is that you have to customize just about everything. So, for example, here we are in the Nintendo screen. I'm going to go ahead and click enter on my keyboard. We're going to enter here. And as you can see here, guys, we have 10 yard fight. Okay, so this is the first game that pops up on the uh, list of all the Nintendo Entertainment System games. Okay. And as you can see here, it gives like a little quick uh, video of what the game is and whatnot. And, uh, but see, not all of them have that. You have to download those individually and put them in the corresponding folders as may be and that's gonna take forever so what I went ahead and did was uh, I downloaded these quick little uh, pictures I suppose so instead of doing video it just has a quick little image of what the in-game gameplay is like so and over here you see on the right hand side the cover of the actual game so you can kinda have an idea of what game this was maybe you've played in the past you don't remember it because just looking at the you know the name 1942 you're like eh, I don't really remember I mean most people remember 1942, but for us newer generation, we're probably like, what? 1942? <laughs> what is that? So, so, but there's some that I did put the little video for, for the little video capture. And if we go here to the Fs, you guys know I'm a big Final Fantasy nut. So we're going to click down. Here goes Final Fantasy. As you can see, I have a little image here. So if I were to go ahead and push enter again, it's going to launch me into my emulator and into Final Fantasy. So let's give it a go. Hit enter. And there we are. There goes Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click the start button, whatever you have it set up to on your emulator. Okay, new game, and you gotta name all your characters and whatnot. And once you're done, let's say for example you're done playing this game, just go ahead and hit the escape button. Whoops, almost destroyed my computer, and you're out of there. And I'm gonna hit escape again, so I can go to my wheel and select another format, another console. So we're gonna go to Super Nintendo, give you guys another idea, here's a little intro screen. We're gonna hit enter to enter our list of games. And as you, see, as you can see here, I went ahead and did other little modifications to it. I put the cover title, but as well the cartridge, so you guys can see what the cartridge looks like. Or for myself or whoever, like my friends are over, and we're gonna use this to play on my, uh, on my TV here, they will see it and they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this game, it's really awesome, blah blah blah, whatever. Really, really amazing. Um, but the only problem I'm running into is that obviously, these games were made for 4x3 resolution, which is full screen, and now, you know, most modern, actually everything modern now is 16x9 widescreen. So, you know, 1080p, 720p, 4K. So this obviously got stretched out and I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. But what I'm gonna be doing with this, uh, Hyperspin. I'm going to make this into like a little mini playlist. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up if this is something you guys are interested in. So, because I know that a lot of you guys out there use emulators, and you know, I collect these games as well. But at the same time, it's much easier just to use a computer to play all your, you know, your PC or your, your old console games and stuff. Um, there's some purists out there who prefer to play everything on the original console. I'm not that way. I, I like, I actually prefer using emulators because it makes it easier for me. And not only that, but you can actually up the resolution and make the graphics look a little nicer, stretch it to full screen, you know? Here we have the Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance. I'm actually currently setting up the Nintendo Game Boy Original, the original Nintendo Game Boy. Well, that came out wrong. And the Game Boy Color. Uh, I'm still working on these, as you can see. It's got a little bit of uh, work to go with it, but uh, I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress, and the same can go with the Game Boy Color. So as you can see, the wheel hasn't been uh, totally fixed yet. It's, it just has the the font. It doesn't have like an image for each individual game like the other consoles have. So, But then there's some consoles here that I'm probably going to eliminate that I've never played and I, I, I don't care for, really. So like if we go down here, I don't like the 3DO, like... 
No thank you. I never played this when I was a kid. So I really have no desire to have this. I'm going to eliminate that. Of course, I want the PlayStation 1, you know? Uh, the Daphne? What? Or Daph... Yeah, Daphne? No, never heard of that. That's... And this is MAME. This is basically arcade emulator. Anything that ever came out on the arcade, you can get it here. Atari? Uh, I don't know. I'll decide on this later. Lynx, this is the uh, portable Atari system to try to compete with the Game Boy. But as you can see guys, it's pretty cool, pretty interesting. I'm going to be, uh, if this is something you guys are interested in having, I'll put the link in the description. But it's really, really complicated to get it set up, especially if you're like a, a noob when it comes to computers or, you know, you expect everything to be like fully prepared for you. It's not going to be like that. So let me know if this is something you guys are interested in and I'll be making this into a mini series, how to set up each individual emulator, how to set up all the images, these little video captures, little everything. Okay, you guys? So, um... Uh, well, like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And like always, guys, bye. See ya.